these girls are legendary. Only shooting stars break the mold. Hello and welcome to Brawl Stars, where today's commander is the pair of partners, sure, partners, Halana and Elena. So Halana and Elena are gruel good stuff. They are a way of accelerating your creatures, growing your creatures, getting those on attack abilities fast and strong. There are cards that synergize with Halana and Elena, such as Karenko. There's also so many cards that are just good with Holana and Elena that I decided that this deck actually needed a secondary theme. So the commander might be Holana and Elena, but the key card of this deck is Bard class because you might be noticing something, but there's an awful lot of legendaries in this list because this is a gruel legendary ladies in gruel power. Helmed by Helana and Elena, so let's take this into the queue so you can see those gruel beats in real time. And our first opponent is running vampires. Hello there, Edgar Markov. Black White Vampires is on my to-do list for Brawl decks to build. Haven't gotten there yet, so I like this hand. It has three lands. One of them's like a land. It's got three lands in it. I've got a two drop. I've got a three drop. Seems pretty good to me, so I'll lead with the Sheltered Thicket, always comes in tapped. And I do have ways to draw a second card in a turn for Joriel. Ooh, or do I just go for the goose here? I wanna get I wanna get good with the goose. I'm gonna bring out the goose, let the center in tapped. Because then I could potentially get out Halana and Elena next turn. But because they're a black-white deck, I should expect them to have removal pretty much every single turn. They're gonna be flipping that Legion's Landing, aren't they? Well, in that case, I might wanna go wide with something like the Chariot. But then again, Chariot next turn is so tasty. So I'm gonna get out Halana and Elena. Um, by the way, they also have First Strike and Reach, which is super relevant in situations like this, where being able to have First Strike means that the Death Touch won't get me. Ooh, Mavern Fane is a way of saying, yeah, you might kill one of my creatures, but you won't kill more than one. I have a good opportunity here, I think, to hit the vampire. Because we are Gruul, Death Touch is particularly good against me. Even though Cruel Celebrant, I think, is the better card for them. By the way, this new Edgar is very hard to deal with once he's on the battlefield. You really gotta exile him or have some weird uh, artifact destruction. He's so good, you gotta kill him twice. I'm gonna get at Essica's Chariot. Before combat, I'm gonna crew him. I'm going to give the Chariot the plus one plus one counters in haste. And I'm going to swing him with the Chariot and make another kitty cat. And my opponent is not here for these shenanigans. Absolutely not. My next opponent is Yarok, the Desecrated. And I've got nice mana in my hand, so I will keep this. There is no commander damage in Brawl, so Halana and Elena being themselves kind of low power is less of an issue. But because Halana and Elena give a buff equal to their power, you still do get rewarded by, let's say, putting plus one plus one counters on Halana and Elena. The Leafkin Druid! Oh yeah, check out my Arcane Signet. Oh my gosh, so both of these creatures are super good to just haste out with Helana and Elena. I always want to just say Helana because the name's right there. Ooh, they ramping. Ooh, they're ramping. That's a fuel of the dead. Gross. Uh, I could destroy their Signet. I could just get out this. I could kind of proactively play Renata. I'm gonna- I'm gonna play Helena here. Helena and Alana are out. Hour of Promise. They already have Field of the Dead out, so we're gonna get two other lands. Probably just some, like, duels that come in tapped. Maybe- I don't know, there's some good functional lands, too. 
They got a command tower and a temple of milady. And they scryed to the top. Ooh. All the mana in the world. They just need one more land. I think I'm gonna go for Turbo Krenko and Magal Galia. And as awesome as all this stuff in my hand is, I like discarding things. Oh my gosh, look at this. Bye, Delina. All right, so my dreams of um, infinite Galias. Not going to last. But I did make a whole bunch of goblins. Look at that. So when Krenko attacks, gets a plus one, plus one counter, puts a number of goblins equal to its power, and now Krenko's dead. Rest in peace, you beautiful goblin, you. But the no-pants gang will live forever. This seems like a good time for me to get rid of that. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and kill the Gear Hulk. And even though I don't have six lands, I think this is still a pretty good... Pretty good piece. Do I feel like discarding drawing? Obviously I do. Alright, so I'm going to tack in with Helana, Elena, Galia, and one goblin. Just the one. It's the sacrificial goblin. I discarded Renata, and I ended up drawing Beast Whisper, Targnar, and Zalortha. Well, I already had the Zalortha in the Fabled Passage, but still, good to have. Here comes Yarek. If they play a land, they get not one, but two zombies. Gross. Mirror Hall Megek is going to come into play as a copy of Helena, giving Yarek haste. Gross. I'll chump block with a goblin. They gain a bunch of life, though. Dang it. That's an elemental. Not that it matters all that much. Um, I'm going to plus my Vivian. Ilharg, Questing Beast. These do seem useful. I like Chandra, though, just to get rid of their Helana and Elena. But I also like... the gamble of what could be on top of my deck. Do I want a Gamba? Yeah, I want a Gamba. I'll let you have my Helana and Elena for one more turn. Because I demand chaos! I was thinking of um, Itali, not Ilharg. Amy, you silly. This goes back into my hands. They're down to 11. It all works out in my favor. They just have a couple zombies, but like... Oh, well now they have lethal zombies, because they're all 2020s. And uh, also Yarrick is a 43-45. Well, I tried. Gotta love a good Crater Hoof behemoth. Though our opponent should definitely have the Cheddar Hoof skin. Everybody should have the Cheddar Hoof skin. It's just the best one. Hero Taka is running a... Ooh, Jadar deck. Jadar, uh, very often aristocrats or zombies. I mean, it's a little bit of both. Ooh, and they have the alternate art, too. So me, Halana, Elena, and all of our legendaries are ready to rumble. I'm gonna sip this tea. Mmm, that's good stuff. There's now one decay zombie. And there will likely be more. I'm drinking... Cinnamon tea? Like with the an apple leaf flavor to it. Very good sweet tea. 
Especially when it's this cold out. Ooh, so chilly. Fucking Wrath Forebear. Hmm, okay. Here's Tovalar! And since they only have one blocker, it's Jadar, I can attack in with Jorial. Our opponent could just be on mono black good stuff, but I, like Forebear does fit the theme of a mono black sacrifice deck, as does Jadar. I'm looking at this art, so I didn't look very closely at it. The normal art of Jadar shows like a very professional looking man working on a zombie. This one's kind of gross. Like, I don't know if that's his tongue or if, like, he bit off a piece of zombie and he's holding it in his mouth. Either way, my man is nasty. Get in there, Tavalar! Helena and Elena are able to block the forebears, at least. Let me hit you. I want to draw a card. And since I drew a card, I get a kitty! Oh, hello, meowy cat! Yeah, they're, for some reason, the falcon rats are allowed to have four entire bears. Most families, they have maybe one bear, two if they're lucky. But the falcon rats, those elite vampires, full of, full of it. Full of bears. Because my Joriel is full art, I get the full art token. The parallax one. Who wants to pet the kitty? I do. That's why you should get the full art Joriel so you can pet the kitty. And they're getting out a tainted adversary. That's gonna let them get a bunch more zombies out. Yeah, that's a lot of you. Ooh, that, mm, That doesn't work out. Could have been intentional. But they only had one blood token. So this has death touch, which is less cool. Yes, this is what I'd like to do. So I'm going to go Silvala. Oh, I don't have another green source. Hmm. Okay, then I'll just keep making Tovalar bigger. That way Silvala next turn will tap for more mana. I think the right move probably would have been uh, Nylia. Get my discounts at the ready. But I'll have a ton of mana for next turn unless Tovalar dies. Then I'll still have a pretty good amount of mana. Oop, they discarded Hive of the Eye Tyrant to draw a card using their blood token. They used up their blub. Here's a Dreadhorde invasion. Even more sacrifices. Or just like big amass tokens. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll get our green source. Sure. Happy to. This is a forest. I love these basics. They're so good. These are nice too. Emma kept full arts. Or I guess Hour of Devastation. Looking good. Looking good. There's a good looking swamp right there. Yeah, you should, um... You should do nothing. Cool. Nayeth's also cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Just start on loading with this mana. <gasps> I love it. It's just like, yeah, you want everything, right? No, I, I mostly want green, actually. I want even more green than that, because look at my hand. It's so green. Nylia. Hmm. I can also just Shatter Skull here. Yeah, sure.
Get those straight on out of here. And we're gonna swing in with uh, everybody. Even the kitty. The kitty's like, yay, I get to take. What's a sheesh? Dali, you big. Oh, and uh, that's lethal. Go, Gruel Legendaries, go! Are you ready? Yes, I am! It's Amazonian versus Lucretian. Who's running Chainer Nightmare Adapt. Chainer's cool. Might only have two lands here, but I've got Magda. He can make mana. Hi. Magda at the ready. Because Chainer is their commander, it can give itself haste. Because <laughs> it doesn't get cast from their hand. Such a weird interaction. Do I get to attack in with Magda? I would like one treasure, please. Um. Ah. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, so I I don't get enough mana to play the Celestis. So here's Tagnar. Targnar attack? Targnar attack. Targnar die to Woe Strider. Okay, here comes Phyrexian Arena. Aha! Third land! I'm gonna play the Celestis. It's in here because it's a legendary mana rock. I have to add in a Shadow Spear too. It is legendary after all. Gotta stick with the theme. An absolutely legendary deck. Hello, goat. Hello, nighttime. Uh, I will draw and discard, because I would still really like more land. I'm going to drop Immolating Inferno. That's just some big wide removal. Um, hmm. Risk card is not as nice without uh, multiple things out here. But it does get me to five for, like, Nikia next turn. Now I'm just going to go for Questing Beast. Kind of get some action done on this turn. I'm also expecting to have removal. Mm, but they didn't use it yet. Maybe they were waiting for Halana Elena. It's like, Halana Elena doesn't give itself haste. It would just sit here and be a 2-3. Unexpected windfall. Discarding doomed necromancer. Hello, yes. Grave Breaker Lamia, that lets them entomb something. Put any card from their library into their graveyard. Very nice with Chainer. I do like using Chainer for Doomed Necromancer to kind of more rapidly get out creatures from the graveyard. Hmm, Kazul's Fury. All right, you know, I would have actually just traded with that, but sure. 
Uh, I'm gonna draw and drop because I need a land. Oh my gosh, a land! Get out of here, Atarka's command. I do not need this. I do not need this. And since all the cards I have here are creatures, I'm gonna play Nikia. I'm gonna hope that she lives. So Nikia's gonna make my lands tap for two, which means that I've got 10, 11 mana. Assuming she lives, it would be nice. Meteor Golem by Nikia. Aw, she lived a short and unfulfilling life. Ah, well. Maybe a Tali will stick? Maybe? Got lots of, uh, stuff they could potentially bring back from the graveyard. Atali, please. I just want to play cards for free off the top of a library. Gosh, what a cute dinosaur, though. The gold-veined, uh, mountains around it are kind of neat, too. Well, they have choices to make. Y yeah? Uh-huh. That's a goat, and that's a meteor golem. I don't know what you're hovering over them for. One good big dinosaur. Wow! X equals five. All right, so they're bringing back Woe Strider and Gravebreaker Lamia. And let's see what they put in the graveyard. They put Ox of Agonis in before. So they could potentially escape it in the future. Ooh, Rankle! I think I'm gonna go for Operation How Big Can I Get My Atali to Be. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get Athlata and Elena. I'm gonna get Rishkar. Gonna put three plus one plus one counters on Atali. I could have made it a 10 10, but I wanted to uh, have Rishkar available after. And then, what do we get? Or maybe they're just gonna jump. Oh. Oh, they're scrying! They're scrying to see what I would hit on top of their library. Well, whatever it was, they bottomed that. They don't want me getting that card. It was probably like a Liliana, Dreadhorde General. Arnie slays the troll. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so right here they have enough. But I can make it so they don't. So I'm gonna have you fight Whoa Strider. Whoa Strider. Can't sacrifice yourself. Arnold the Troll Slayer. It's no longer feasible for them to double block, but they can bring back the Meteor Golem, I think, next turn for four mana. Discard a card. Play Doomed Necromancer. It has haste. Sacrifice it, bring back the Meteor Golem. So yes, I think that if they wanted to, they could bring back the Meteor Golem this turn. And they're actually going for God Pharaoh's Gift. Ooh! I assume they're gonna reanimate the, uh... Yeah! Buy a Tali! Maybe... Maybe not? Okay, yeah, alright. I think that's the right move. But unfortunately, that means that they can't have that reanimation loop of, like, killing it and bringing it back with Chainer over and over. I think the sleeve might have been from the Mastery Pass. Maybe from the pre-order? I'm not sure. Two plus one plus one counters on Halana and Elena. 
I want to get a quartzwood crasher hasted out here because that's um, brutal and disgusting. And behold, an 1111 with haste and trample that when it hits face will make a dinosaur of the same power and toughness as the damage dealt. Oof. Nice. I got an 1111. And even more mana. Whee! I don't have, like, a thing to do with this mana right now, but I have it. Well, whatever they want, they're digging. They still get to reanimate a creature. If they want to, they still have enough man to do the thing I mentioned with the Chainer and the Doom Necromancer. They also have God Pharaoh's Gift. There's a lot of stuff they can do. They do need to get rid of my stuff, though. If they don't, they're dead, because I have two 11-11s with Trample. The potential to make even more. Looks like they're, they're continuing to dig. So they're going to just ditch their hand. I saw some nice big creatures in there, too. I think I saw, like, a Scarab God. Or, sorry, it would be a Scorpion God in these cards. Scorpion God. Um, conspiracy Theorist? Oh, and as for the background noise, that's a trash pickup happening outside. I'll go mute my mic. So they have a literal god on the battlefield, but I have 11 11s with trample and more. So that's going to be GG. I'm up against Corvold, the fake cursed king. Going to be a Jund sacrifice deck this time. Uh, I've got slow mana. Got a nice pair of two drops in my hand. One of them sort of even ramps a little, questionably. It's, you know, nobody can say. So let's get our rugged highlands at the ready. Get ready to play. Once upon a time, free spells in this economy? Oh my gosh, look. I gotta land. Go get him, Gallia. Yeet. Yeet. They're exploring. They're ramping. Maybe they didn't draw a land. Uh, nope, they did. Okay. Are they gonna kill Galia? Don't! Oh, no, they're thought seizing me. What do you drop here? Nylia? Okay. I get it. Uh, let's see. If I do this, I'll have five mana next turn. I'll also have, like, a bigger Gallia. Nah. I'd rather have a bigger Halana and Elena. <laughs> yeah, they know about the Arnie Slays the Troll. Yeah, fight, fight, fight. Don't mind me, I'm just setting up for weird future turns. Oh, hi, Corvold. What are you gonna munch? We draw land? No. Makes it harder. I was hoping I could use Chandra to get rid of this. But instead, it's time for Galia to just swing in and be huge. Go, Galia, go! She's having such a good time. I love this gal. Perfect. 
Paradise Druid, Skullport Merchant, Corvold, and Judith. Ooh, they can deal damage to any target if they sacrifice a creature. Nope, just growing the Corvold. And uh, while Helena and Elena can block, I don't think they should. I feel like that would be bad. Um, I've got five mana. And a dream. Yeah! What am I copying? Gruel friends? More Delinas? More Gruel friends? Boo! Low roll! Yeah, discard. Give me a kitty. Kitty acquired! Going for killing Delina. Okay. But still taking all the damage from Galia. Bye, Delina. You're cute. Vivian is like, oh, I know how to. I don't know how to kill a dragon. She has this great ability: minus three, kill a dragon. Oh, sup, Chiliana? See if they'll sacrifice. Will yep. All right. So I'm gonna drop Joriel and the cat token. Oh, wow. They get two damage to any target. Corvold gets plus two, plus two, and they draw two cards. I'll find a use. They were a lousy servant anyway. But they still have big dead energy. And I think that's going to be the last game with this deck for this evening. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you'd like to watch this being recorded live, you can do so at twitch.tv slash Amazonian, where I stream virtually every single day. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a brawlsome day. The pun didn't really work, did it? <laughs>